This week we're going to have a look at our contact riding, just really making sure we get this nice and soft. And um, in in this uh, level two module, we're working on, um, you know, just getting our soft feel for the first time. And then later on, when you get to module uh, into level three, um, we'll be looking more at collection. Okay, and then later on into level four, elevation. So I want to set you on the right path here, make sure that your horse is really using their back, using their hind properly, and that you've got good forward in your soft feel, your vertical flexion, your collection, okay? You need good forward in this, and that's why um, in the other modules there, you had to you know, do your gallop stuff and get really confident in riding forward, because you've got to have good forward without contact before you go for the contact. Okay, so we're going to have a look at this. Uh, we're just going to check out our rain positions, get these a little bit smoother in this little video here. Okay, so we're going to use that butterfly. Now, I'd like you to use the butterfly as much as possible. It helps you open your sternum. Um, it, it works your lateral flexion instead of just pulling, okay, because it's a bit of a habit for us humans to, um, you know, when something pulls on us, we pull back. So we've got to be careful of that. We've got to work our flex, okay? So this is Major, you guys all know him I suppose, <coughs> um, and he's just going to do some rain positions for us here as per level 2. Okay, so we're going to sit up, go to our butterfly position, okay, so go wide, close our fingers, one, two, three, depending on where you're from, how many fingers you've got. Okay, so if he puts his head down, see how he's over flexing a bit, don't worry about it guys. Okay, when he starts moving, he'll find um, the best place for him to be. Sometimes they'll overflex, sometimes they'll underflex. The main thing is that it's light, and sometimes they'll play around with a bit. If they're feeling a little bit anxious, they'll do that. Don't worry about all that stuff. Some people wrap their mouth and tie it closed. We don't do that in Quantum Savvy. So we use that as a signal that the horse is a bit anxious about something. Okay, so we're going to check our soft feel. So we're in soft feel, lateral flexion. Okay, keeping our vertical flexion there. Okay, see there his nose popped up a little, so I'm going to go again. There we go, lateral. It's just a little, a little stretch. Now, I didn't want him to move his feet there, and what that means is he was a little bit stiff, so I'm just going to go again. Lateral flexion, good boy. And you could even give him a bit of a rub there and hold that position, okay. Change flex, trying to keep my soft feel through there. Other side, fantastic. So that's a nice little limbering exercise before you do your rain positions. Okay, yes. Same again, butterfly. In level two, I'd like to do lots of, actually I always do, do lots of release, give, give, give. Don't hold it the whole time, okay? Because it's actually physically hard for the horse, okay? Now if you feel, you know, when you're standing here that he's sort of not standing up properly, you can move them side to side or forward a little and just sort of get them standing up a little bit better if they feel like they're a bit hollow in the back, a bit like sitting in a hammock. <laughs> okay, here we go, a little bit of flex. We're going to do an indirect rein, okay? But in this indirect rein, and this is a thing that um, I find people get a bit hung up on, you know, we're trying to keep the front legs pretty still and the back end going around, right? That sounds logical. But it's actually supposed to be a forward movement. So I've got a little exercise for you here. Because later on in level three and, and level four, uh, we're going to be asking our horse to elevate more. And you're going to need that forward movement in there. You're going to really need that horse using their back. So if you're just doing a plain old indirect rein, then the horse isn't, really isn't carrying themselves. But here in our foundation in level two, that's going to become a bad habit down the track. So what we're going to do is I'm going to let my horse have a little bit of forward. This is just as a practice. A little bit of forward and forward with the front legs and then move the hind out a bit. Once he starts going, I'm going to ask his front to slow a little bit and keep his back end going around. Okay. And then to finish, I could finish there if that's where I want to put the reward. Or if I've got one of those horses, which you might have, that really, you know, tries to suck back every time it gets into um, flexion, then um, you would finish with some forward like this. So get my soft feel, get him standing up, a little bit of forward. Now here we go, I'm doing my indirect, so I shorten my inside rein, shorten my outside a little bit. Stopping my front end now. 
And now this time to finish, I'm going to walk forward again on a little bit of a curve and let it go. That's their reward, that's where the release is, okay? Now I should point out that's where the big part of the release is because I want you to get good at this too as well. You need to step in time with the horse's feet so they get a release each step. Okay, so what I mean by that is, if I, I'll ride a little circle here to show you. Each time he steps, it's one side of your body at a time, left flex, right flex, okay? So every time you let that flex go, that's released that side. So you get a release each side. Release, release, release. They get releasing forward. <laughs> We'll talk about that more in level three, but just um, log it in your mind for now. Okay, so we're gonna come down for the other side here. A little bit of forward, we've got our soft feel. We're gonna put a bit more indirect rain on here now. More indirect, so I'm widening my hands there. That's nice. For, oh. <laughs> now just did you see that little finish there? He just sort of stepped into that circle there on the finish there. That wasn't a real good one. That mean he f meant he fell into his turn. The reason he fell into his turn is because he wasn't using his left hind. Now Major's left hind is not his strongest leg, so I've got to really keep an eye on that one so that I don't reward him for not using it. So there he finished nice and balanced. That's a good one. Okay. So you might have to rewind these a couple of times to get the idea. But um, have a look at them closely and it'll really pay off for down the track when you're working on level 3 and 4. Okay, now we're going to do the front end. So here on the front end, soft feel. I'm going to open out. I'll open out to my right. Open rein, open leg. And I'm going to ride forward a little again. again. Okay, now I'm going to Shorten my outside rein just a little bit to stop the forward. <clears throat> and I'm going to keep my direct rein open in the direction I want to go. So basically I'm just riding forward in a really small circle. Okay. Now for Major I'll finish him on that, on that spot where his hind was still. That's excellent. If you've got a horse who's lacking a bit of forward and wants to suck back all the time, you'll do this. Ride forward a little, shorten your reins, widen them to stop the forward. Riding, trying to do my hind in one spot now, getting in time with the feet. And just to finish, I'm going to go out on a curve. Once he's on the curve, I'll come around here so you can see, as soon as he's on that nice curve, release. Stay on the curve. Okay, so there's a few little tips for you to help you with your rein positions. Your indirect and your direct reins and your lateral flex. Good luck. Remember, anytime your horse is heavy, go wide with your hands and work one rein at a time. Have fun.